Hello everybody, Christina here with One Creative Direction. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to all my new subscribers. It has definitely been a few minutes since I've done a video, so uh, long awaited. Um, haven't really done a whole lot of painting over the last month or so, so that explains why I haven't released a video. But tonight we're going to paint this guitar cutout. Um, I don't want you to confuse it with the custom actual guitar that I did. This is just a fun cutout. It's uh, already um, it's already uh, got the hanging hardware on the back. Uh, I believe I got this at Joann's. Pretty sure that's where I got it. Um, but I've got it all prepped uh, and ready to go. I prep all of my wood with Crystal X. Uh, UW, which is universal white. It creates a nice bond on any wood surface and helps the acrylics dry faster so you don't have any issues because acrylics have a lot of issues with drying completely. So with all that said, we're going to get started. Um, I know like the entire guitar isn't in frame, but that's because it's so large. I tried to get as much of it in frame as possible. Let me tilt this just slightly to help. See if that helps. There we go. Um, so the dimensions on this, just to put it in perspective, it is 40 inches long and 13 inches wide at the, the widest portion here. Um, so we're going to get the paints prepped and get all the paint laid down and blow this out. We are doing a Dutch pour on this tonight. I struggled to figure out what colors I wanted to do, what technique I wanted to do. And um, so yeah, I finally made a decision literally just this afternoon. So I'm gonna get this prepped and we'll get started. Okay, so I had to pause for a brief moment because as I was standing here, I touched the guitar and realized I had not lightly sanded it after my prep coat. So I had to do that real quick. It only takes a minute. And now we are going to lay down some paint. So just to go over what I'm using, um, I have a little bit of Amsterdam uh, titanium white in a bottle, but here's my other colors. I've got Grumbacher Prussian Blue. I have... Um, Modern Masters Venetian Blue. I have Amsterdam Sky Blue Light. I have Blick Pearl Metallic. I have a Soho Gold. And like I said, I have a little bit of titanium white and I'm just gonna use that um, in a couple of general areas. So I'm gonna try to blow this out from the center. So we're gonna start in the center and work our way out. Uh, the lighter colors first. I'm gonna use the Blick White in between the other colors uh, just to give them, um, just to give them a little bit of color definition in between each coat. Okay guys, so I'm gonna speed this up and do a real quick voiceover intro. Um, it takes a considerable amount of time to lay all this paint down, so. I'm gonna put some music on and speed it up to the uh, through the portion where I blow it out. Um, like I said before, I'm gonna just blow from the center. Now towards the end of it, when I'm done blowing it out and I turn the camera off before I show you the, the close-ups, um, I do make a few adjustments um, to the long neck of the guitar and also the center portion where the two holes are. I add a little bit more paint and blow it out a little bit more. Um, just because there, I didn't feel like there was enough paint there to get over the edges and on the inside of those holes. So <clears throat> I did that off camera. Um, I don't think it's critical to the video um, that I didn't show that portion. Um, but yeah, and I touched up all the, the sides uh, before I came back for the close-up. So please enjoy and let me know what you think in the comments. Greatly appreciate comments. It does help. Um, I love the feedback, questions, whatever. I'm here to help. So uh, enjoy the rest of the video.
Okay guys, we're back. Just wanted to show you the close up and show you what I mean about these paint reactions. You see the gold and the white in there? See how those gold cells, and I forgot this Modern Masters Venetian Blue does the same thing. So between those three colors, I got a lot of really cool uh, paint reactions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I would greatly appreciate it. This is kind of the color palette that I was going for. Um, tried to go from the center out. You see lots of really cool paint reactions and cool flow. I really like this section right here. It's really hard to point when you have the camera in your hand. Okay. I really like this. I love these colors together. I kind of wanted to keep it somewhat neutral. So if a boy or a girl wanted this in their room, um, originally thought I was going to do purple, but really glad I stuck with the blues. So let me know what y'all think. I really appreciate you coming along. Let's see if I can get it all in. It's kind of hard to see. But yeah, I think it'll look great when it's dry. Um, if I don't get this video out by the time it's dry tomorrow, um, I will update with a dry result. All right. Thanks, guys. Catch you on the next one.